know what you're trying to do, and I want you to stop it. Mom! What is it, Mac? Mom, tell Dad to leave me alone. I'm 18, and he keeps treating me like a kid. Peter, I told you not to push her about this quagmire thing. If you push too hard, you're gonna push her right into his arms. Well, what am I supposed to do? Nothing. This is a big game Meg is playing, and the only way to win is not to play it. Is that a War Games reference? Might be. You know War Games? Yeah. Still finding out new stuff about you. That's the adventure. There's a nerd in there. Maybe there is. I might bang her later. How about a nice game of chess? I prefer banging. Dad, have you seen my book bag? What, Chris? Ah! Oh, Peter, there you are. Would you go tell Meg that lunch is on the table? Oh, Meg's not here. What do you mean? She and Quagmire went up to his cabin for the weekend. What? Yeah, I drew you a crude flip book to explain what's happening. Okay, I got a little off track there, but they went to his cabin. Peter, Quagmire has a name for that cabin. He calls it his sex cabin. No, he doesn't. He calls it the Stuff It In. Oh, my God, I can't believe you knew about this and you let her go. Hey, don't give me that crap. I'm doing exactly what you told me to do. You said don't mess with her business, so I didn't. Peter, this is different. It's one thing to rebelliously flaunt an older guy in front of your parents, but it's a whole other thing to go away with him for the weekend to a sex cabin. Oh, is that right? Oh, don't worry, Peter. He's not going to sleep with her. That's you, nerd. Look, everyone knows if you go away with a guy for the weekend and don't have sex with him, you're a huge bitch. We gotta stop them. So you admit you were wrong? Yes. You admit you were stupid? Yes, yes. You admit all women are stupid? No. All right, I'll take what I can get. Come on, to the Peter Dactyl. <laughs> oh, no, now I gotta take care of the babies. <laughs> Look, Peter, his car's still there. Maybe they haven't left yet. Quagmire, let me in, you son of a bitch! I'm sorry I'm not home to receive you. The reason being that you have sufficiently scared me away from your wife or daughter. I plan to get help and use better judgment in the future. Wait a minute. So Quagmire just changed all of a sudden? Just like that? You want me to read this or not? No, Grandpa, I don't. No kid wants to be read anything anymore. Computers exist. It's just you won't leave. OK, where were we? Quagmire's front door. You think they're hiding in there? Oh, no. Peter, look. See you later, suckers. <laughs> oh, good luck to them. Peter. Oh, right, right, let's go. Get up there. I wonder. 